So for those of you that follow me on Instagram, I've been promising this analysis for a little while. So this is Rory McIlroy. On the left, we've got a video from 2011. And then on the right, we've got a video from 2014. So 2011 on the left was just before he started working with Dave Stockton. And 2014 on the right is just in the middle of his spell working with Stockton. So very different techniques. And I'm going to point out a few things that I like about especially his technique on the left and then ultimately what I think Rory could do to help him improve. But before I do that, it's probably worth noting 2011, 2014, both major winning years. So he obviously had spells of putting well. I think 2014 was possibly his best year putting on tour. So left-hand side, what do I like about his setup? I like the fact his shoulders and elbows are pretty close to level, left side just a fraction higher, and this is helped by the fact that his hands are pretty close to level. I also like the ball position, so back of the ball in the middle of his feet, bottom of the putter there. And actually what he changed in 2014 was he got the ball position a fraction further forward and got his left side a little bit higher. This meant that his head was a little bit further behind the ball. So for those of you familiar with Dave Stockton's putting style, he promote, tries to promote a straight back, straight through technique. And I believe he also likes to get his players hitting more on the up. So a, higher angle of attack. He did also change a few things in Rory's routine, so he had a different routine in 2014 and that possibly could have led to some improvements. In my opinion 2011 was a was a better setup, a more neutral setup, but that's not to say that he didn't putt well. Like I said he had his best year on tour putting wise in 2014. So moving on to the actual stroke, one thing that I really like about Rory's technique, especially in 2011, was the even backstroke and through stroke length and his excellent tempo. So Rory for me has always had good control of his pace, especially from long distances. And I think this is definitely a byproduct of his very good tempo and even stroke. And if we compare that to 2014, where I think Rory Stroke actually got a little bit, perhaps shorter going back in an attempt to keep the face more square. And then almost a little bit of a longer follow through in comparison. So in my opinion, it looks as if his tempo changed under Stockton as well. And for me, that's possibly in an attempt to try and keep that face as square as possible on the way back and through. So all this aside, ultimately for me, I think Stockton missed the underlying problem for Rory. And the reason I think his putting can be a little bit inconsistent. And that's a change of shaft angle from setup to impact. So if we look at the shaft angle there at setup and then we move it through to impact, we can definitely see the hands are now further ahead than they were at setup. And we can see if we take the, the right hand side in 2014 and we attempt to do the same thing, and I know the camera moves here, but again, hands are getting further ahead at impact than they were at setup. And for me, what that means is more difficulty in controlling the face. So when we're at setup in this position here, this is where we aim our putter. So if our hands and shaft angle are in a different position at impact, then ultimately it's going to be more difficult to square that face consistently. So I'm going to do a little comparison here. If we look at Rory here, and we take, we extend this line and we go up 
and it goes kind of towards between his left eye and ear and then if we take it all the way back to the end of the backstroke there's a definite change in wrist angle which is okay we've seen that from good putters over the years but what he then doesn't do is release the putter back to where it was at setup whereas if I take Tiger Woods as an example and if we draw a line up the shaft again at setup with Tiger and then draw another line for his backstroke and again we can see a definite hinging of the putter in the backstroke and then we take it down to impact you can see he's then released the putter back to the exact same position as it was at setup which for me is ideal if you're going to hinge it which I prefer golfers didn't but some good putters have over the years if you do hinge it in your backstroke you need to release that putter back to the exact same position as it was at setup and that way it's much more easy to consistently square that face at impact so if we get rid of those lines and take a look at the setups very similar in the setup Tiger and Rory and the one thing that I noticed that really changes for Rory from setup to impact and this is what for me makes his shaft angle change and gets his hands further ahead is if we look at the stripes on this shirt there and we run this through to impact we can see the left shoulder is definitely higher and the right shoulder lower than it was at setup whereas we look at Tiger the shoulders are now matching where he was at setup so basically in summary for me if Rory can attempt to try and keep his impact position as close to his setup position as possible I think he's gonna have more success and ultimately become a more consistent putter he's now in good hands with Phil Kenyon and perhaps that's something they're working towards and if so 2018 could be a very good year for Rory he started playing tee to green he started playing very well and possibly could have been up there with Jordan Spieth in the open had he been holding a few more putts this is definitely something that a lot of golfers can take we want to try and match our impact position to our setup position this way there's no manipulation involved in our stroke and it's much more easy to get a consistent square blade at impact I hope this helps if you have any questions comment below and I hope to catch up with you soon. Take care.